Yo, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Today we're gonna be talking about the top five mods that you need for your roguelite. So I'm gonna pick five mods that you definitely need on your roguelite, and then we're gonna do an honorable mention. Number one, we're gonna start with bars. We all know that the stock bars on the roguelite aren't the prettiest. Uh, I mean, comfort-wise, they're eh, but uh, you know they, they got that that old man feel. They got the beach bars, and you're like this riding on the bagger. It just looks weird, feels weird, and. Obviously, bars are the first thing you want to do. On mine, I have the uh, Arlen S setup. And it's funny I bring that up because I'm actually thinking about maybe switching the whole bar setup. Um, so that, that's going to be its own video next week. You definitely want to get a good riser and bar setup for your bike. It's going to help you tremendously when it comes to comfort. It's going to look great. And it's just going to clean up the whole spectrum in your cockpit. It's just... It changes everything. It, it, it really does, man. A good bar and riser setup is really going to determine if you're going to come back fatigued from your long day of riding or long weekend or whatever it is. But it definitely helps out in every way. Number two. Now that we're, we're you know, let's just stay with the comfort first and then we'll dive into everything else. Obviously, number two is going to be a seat. Stock seats absolutely suck. I mean, let's just all be frank here. They're horrible. They, 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 they suck. So you want to get a nice comfortable seat you're gonna get a seat with uh that's gonna give you some back support you're gonna see is gonna add a little more oomph to your bike a little special touch special little drizzle on top of it so a lot of options out there customizable seats me i like to go with la para la para makes the best seats out there to me like comfort wise design wise um but anything you want to do different textures different everything right now i got the uh la para tail whip on mine and i absolutely love that seat on mine you're gonna have a nice mix of patterns and textures you're gonna have some of that rich buttery alcantara following along with some nice smooth leather and then that nice gripper material that's gonna keep you in place when you really want to get out there and be a hooligan we also got some rest stitching out here you can get some all type of designs and everything just to make that seat and that bike very very special rolling into number three we're still going to be talking about comfort still because honestly when, when you're on a bike the the, the 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 key thing you want is also comfort right so let's talk about suspension that's gonna be the third one suspension you want to make sure you set up your ride right with some good suspension um i had legends on here before I absolutely love the Legends, um, they, they, they felt great, but as soon as I saw that Harley Davidson came out with their Screaming Eagle slash Olin suspension, I, I, I had a, I, I, I wanted those, man. They, they look super cool, they feel great. Um, they, it's just so many different modes on there that you're able to play around with. You adjust it to your way, you adjust your preload, you, you know, if you're gonna have a passenger, you adjust it to the weight you're gonna have on the bike, and it, it just it does a lot for you, man. You you don't feel those bumps as much as you would with stock suspension, um, and it's like I said, comfort. Comfort is like the key thing when you're out there riding on your bike. I am planning to do the front cartridges right now in the future. I'm still debating on it. Should be doing it right now because I'm I'm chroming out the front legs, and I already have them here, but yeah we'll see all right making our way down to number four it's a harley davidson you want it to sound like a harley davidson get yourself a nice exhaust something that's gonna look nice something's gonna sound really really good let's face it the milwaukee eights they don't come with that special old school harley davidson sound it takes a little bit to kind of get 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 that that potato potato sound out of these bikes and obviously the first step is to get yourself an exhaust. The next step, well, well, we'll go into number five and we'll talk about that, but a nice exhaust is gonna give your bike the nice Harley Davidson tone that you want. Obviously a little bit more horsepower, not a tremendous amount, but something that's gonna sound good, something that's gonna make your bike wake up a bit more. 
and something is gonna make you more noticeable out there. Let's face it, we wanna be heard when we're out there on the road. There's a lot of crazy, oblivious drivers out there that are just constantly just on the phone, they're not looking around, and you, you wanna be heard. Honestly, like, and, and it's a little cliche to say where it's like loud pipes save lives, but like in today's age, like when everybody's just driving, constantly on the phone, not paying attention to the road, if you're rolling by with a loud bike, it kind of, you know, whoa, it kind of kind of wakes the driver up, you know, it kind of makes them a bit more aware. So, cliche, but it's true. On my bike right now, I am rocking out with the Chromeworks full system exhaust. Um, I have the stretch bags. I would love to have a twin of one, but the stretch bags, it just looks weird when you have one exhaust and it's just, eh, I got that gaping hole in the back, so. Would I prefer a 2 and a one Yes, and I always tell people get a 2 and a one So without the stretch bags, 2 and a one With the stretch bags, obviously you want to keep the bike looking nice and clean everywhere. Um, 2 and a 2. But Chromeworks, they, uh, they, 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 they sound great, man. They, they sound really good. And have a lot of different options, different colors, and different pipes and everything. So check them out as well but there's a lot of different companies that they're making great exhaust for bikes as well basani uh, makes a great few pipes for road glides um if you want to go with a tbr if you want to go to fab 28 or if you want to go to hpi amazing pipes so th those are like my top favorite pipes right there that i would kind of play around with and uh and recommend number five Let, let's let's talk about number five because uh, number five to me like i was mentioning before if you really want to wake that milwaukee 8 motor up and make it sound like a true harley davidson and get yourself some real power baby you're gonna want to get yourself a stage two so right now i have a screaming eagle cam in this bike Definitely woke it up, definitely sounds a bit better from the stock sound, but guess what? I kind of, I want a bit more power right now. I want the bike to sound a bit deeper. I want, I want, I want, I want a nice, deep, louder, low, but I just, uh, and I, I'm, I'm, I want that sound and power, man. So I went ahead and I ordered a full stage two fueling kit. So the, the fueling kit comes with every little everything on there man so it's, i mean that's gonna be next week gonna be installing that over at the torque custom cycle shop and um the the bike is gonna wake up man a lot more horsepower a lot more torque especially with these pipes man it's just gonna be a nice little mix it's gonna it sound like it's, it's it's gonna be like an orchestra just dialed in now i did say that i had a honorable mention so this honorable mention, I really wanted to put in my top five. I was like, ah, you know what? Like, let, let me just pick out the most important things. So my honorable mention is heated grips. If you're on the East Coast like I am, I don't know if you guys see that. I'm in my garage. It was like super cold in here. It's freezing. But it, it's, it's, yeah, it's like 30 degrees today, maybe 28. So it's freezing. So if you're, if you live in the East Coast or anywhere where it's cold, I highly recommend heated grips. On this one right now, I have the Empire Collection heated grips. They do its job, man. And, and you turn the bike on and instantly they start heating up. You don't need to crank it up to level five or six, whatever it is. It, it, they, they just, you can leave it on three and it's like, it, it'll load up right away. Um, three or four, it, it gets to the point where sometimes you kinda gotta, I find myself toning it down to like level one and that that's how much they work um even for like those like not winter days but just like the chilly fall days or early spring days was like 50 ish you know maybe low 60 ish and you just want a nice little turn them on and they're just oh, they're so warm nice and toasty it's uh yeah and and once you use heated grips believe me you're not gonna want to just get like regular grips you're gonna you're gonna want heater grips, man. And if you're like me, having your hands nice and warm in cold weather while you're riding, you're it, it, it's a must, man. Because once my hands go, like I'm I'm done, man. I'm like, take me home. That's it. Um, like my my whole body, I, I don't need heated gear. But as long as I have my heater grips, I'll be good. But that being said, I, I do wear heated gear though. I got, I got a nice heated vest from uh, from Gerben, which does the job and it helps me out for those cold days. So heated vest, heater grips. 
that's all you really need, man. Well, there you go, guys. Those were my top five recommendations, my top five mods that you need for your roguelite. Obviously, I got a lot more stuff on my roguelite here, but th those are the top, top five, I think, that you should definitely look into first if you want to budget yourself out um, and get the most important things for comfort and obviously power. Those are it right there. And if you want to see more content like this, you're definitely in the right place. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. That's going to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. Also, let me know really quick if you guys are being alerted anytime I upload a video because I, it just feels like the, the, the algorithm is not working the way it should and yeah, YouTube is weird sometimes. Anyways, like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.